Namaste! So before we can explore the Dharmic religions, it's important to know what makes them unique. The world's religions can be divided into two groups, Eastern and Western. The Eastern religions include the religions of India and Eastern Asia. The Western religions, also known as the Abrahamic religions, include Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. India has given birth to four of the world's major religions, which are Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. These four religions share a lot in common, and they are known as the Dharmic religions. The word Dharma is very complex, and there really isn't an easy translation in English. But broadly speaking, Dharma refers to the path of righteousness. Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, and Sikhs focus on Dharma and have a similar worldview on how the universe works and our role in it. And that's why they are referred to as the Dharmic religions. Because of this connection, many concepts are very similar in these four religions, but with slight variation and different interpretation. Both the Dharmic and the Abrahamic religions believe that it's important for someone to live a good life and to embody good human virtues. But the way they view the universe and our role in it are very different. So let's look at some of these differences. But bear in mind that these are just broad differences because even within the Abrahamic and Dharmic religions, there is still a lot of variation. So in the Abrahamic worldview, time is linear, meaning that there is a beginning, a middle, and an end. In the Dharmic worldview, time is cyclical, meaning that the universe is created, preserved, and dissolved over and over again. Abrahamic religions believe in one God. Dharmic religions have different views on God depending on the religion. So for example, Hindus and Sikhs believe that there is one supreme God. Jains believe that there is no God, but that humans can attain a God-like state and Buddhists don't believe in a god. Abrahamic religions believe that God lives in heaven, and Dharmic religions believe that God exists everywhere. The Abrahamic faiths have a concept of sin, and specifically Christianity believes that we are all born into sin. The Dharmic religions have a concept of karma, which is the principle that every action or thought has a consequence. And they believe that we are all born divine. Abrahamic religions have a greater adherence to scripture, and many followers believe that their religion is the most correct way of approaching God. Whereas the Dharmic religions use scripture more as a guideline, and believe that there are multiple paths to the truth, and that their religion is one way of attaining that. Abrahamic religions believe in divine revelation, meaning that there was a prophet who received a revelation from God, and that he conveys those thoughts onto more people. Whereas Dharmic religions place a greater emphasis on personal experience. So even though it has stories of people who have connected with the divine, there is a greater emphasis on an individual having their own experience with the divine. The Abrahamic religions believe in one lifetime, whereas the Dharmic religions believe in reincarnation. The Abrahamic faiths believe that God created humans in his image. Whereas the Dharmic religions believe in evolution, meaning that we all started out as plants, then became animals, and then finally became humans, and that that process of evolution is still going on. Hindus and Sikhs believe that the process of evolution was guided through God, whereas Jains and Buddhists believe that evolution is simply a phenomenon of nature. Abrahamic religions place a greater emphasis on its history, meaning that it's important for the followers to know when certain events happened and when certain people had revelations from God. In the Dharmic religions, there's a greater emphasis on the actual ideas. So the timeline of the story or the events of the story are not as important as the actual morals of the story. Abrahamic religions believe that we can be united through religion. So for example, if you're a Christian, you regard other Christians as being part of your family because we all share a common belief. Whereas Dharmic religions believe that we are already all united just because we exist. So for followers of Dharmic faiths, the actual religion of a person doesn't matter because simply the fact that we all exist means that we already have divinity within us, regardless of what we believe. The Abrahamic religions do have a conversion process and it's an important part of being a follower of that religion. Whereas the Dharmic religions do not have a specific conversion process, and to follow the Dharmic religions, you just need to believe in some overall concepts of the faith. The Abrahamic religions believe in heaven and hell, and believe that after a person dies, they go to either one of these places. In the Dharmic religions, the overall goal is to attain enlightenment, and in Hinduism and Sikhism, this involves merging with God. 
So now that you have a context for the Dharmic religions, in future videos we can go over specific concepts. So thanks for watching, have a blessed day, and Namaste.